Hi there. Uh, in this particular video, what we are going to do is we are going to understand a small uh, variation of the BSM model that we've learned so far. Again, uh, I'd like to highlight that BSM model is strictly applicable only for European options. All right, we are not dealing with American options as of now. Uh, the first kind of variant that we are going to talk about is options when we have dividends involved in it. All right. How exactly do we calculate the price of the call option or the price of the put option when we have dividends included in it? Uh, so there's one small change that we need to make. All right. All of you must remember this from your first chapter as well of derivatives that how we adjusted for the dividend yield. In the very same way, you need to adjust for the dividend yield wherever you see the spot price. All right. So the wherever you are see, seeing the spot price, all right, there you need to adjust for the dividend yield and you're done. All right, the rest of the formula remains the same. All right, the rest of the formula remains the same. So uh, the dividend yield part is to be attached with your spot price and the rest of the part of the equation remains the same. It is done in the exact same way how, how we did it in chapter one. All right, when we were talking about forward contracts with dividend yields, continuous dividend yields. In the very same way we have done this thing as well. All right, so that is quite easy and simple to understand. At the very same time, what we need to understand is we have learned put call parity. All right, put call parity, if not in level 2, but in level 1, we definitely learn that. Uh, there, we did not really include a dividend yield in the put call parity equation. All right, the put call parity equation we standard as protective put is equal to fiduciary call. And in, in that particular equation of ours, we did not really include what? We did not really include the uh, dividend yield. All right, so to add the dividend yield in that put call parity, all right, uh, we simply again have to adjust the spot price with the dividend yield when we do not really have to do anything else apart from that and that is it all right it's quite simple so i'll just recall dividend yield for the ones who have forgotten it so this is nothing but a protective put all right what do you do in a protective put you go long put option all right and you go long stock option and uh, the values that you're supposed to put in the put call parity is if you want to go long put you will be buying the put option for which you'll have to pay a premium that is P0 and if, you, if you're buying the stock you'll have to pay a certain price and that certain price is nothing but S0 into E to the power minus a dividend yield into T. Why are we having a negative sign here? All right. One thing we need to understand is dividend yield is a benefit. All right. So we, we can recall from you know again forward contract I've mentioned this for the third time now that whenever we have any kind of benefit involved all right, we, dis uh, we, you know, dis we subtract that from our original uh, spot price or whatever we are considering. So that is one thing that we need to understand that we are creating a protective put which is made up of long put and long stock. Long put dividend yield is P0 and long stock, uh, you, you know, you have to go long stock to go long stock. You need to, you know, uh, really have S0 into E to the power minus dividend yield into T. All right, then we have uh, the... Fiduciary call, for fiduciary call you need to go long call and at the very same time you need to go long ZCB. Alright, what ZCB is? ZCB is a zero coupon bond. So you are going long call to go long call you need to pay the premium for the call option that you are purchasing and that is C0. And at the very same time since you want to go long zero coupon bond which has a face value of X in order to make sure that at time period T you are getting X. Today, what do you need to pay? You need to pay e to the power minus rt into x. All right, you need to discount that amount, that x, in terms of today's price and that is something that you need to pay in order to get the value or the price that you're supposed to pay today in order to get that x uh, at time period t. All right, so that is your protective put and why this put, put call parity holds, uh, you know, we have uh, understood this with an arbitrage example as well. So that is pretty simple, all right, but uh, we need to make this proper adjustment for the dividend yield in our put call parity then and then only the equation would really satisfy. Alright, so this part is done, this particular variant is done. Now one more thing that I need to highlight is that you can really use the uh, uh, BSM model for options in currencies as well. Alright, for options in currencies as well. So uh, there are few uh, things that we need to understand for the, uh, before we you know really uh, look, out, look out for the formula. So uh, wherever you see the stock price in the equation of call option and put option, instead of the stock price, what you're going to take is the spot exchange rate. All right, the spot exchange rate, that is price P upon B. 
I am hoping everybody has seen the economics part of currency. All right. So the currency part of economics. So in that you will be able to understand how exactly currency works and how exactly you do you denote it. It's generally P upon B, price upon base, currency. All right. So whatever the exchange rate is here. All right. Say for example, sixty uh, price upon base currency. So see if, uh, where our price currency is rupees and our base currency is dollars. So it would be sixty rupees per dollar. So sixty uh, becomes our uh, price. Price becomes a uh, rupee becomes our price currency and base is our dollars. All right. So that is something that we need to understand. All right. So wherever you see stock price in these equations, what do you need to replace it with? Uh, you need to replace it with the spot exchange rate that you have. So that is one thing. And how do you really calculate the call option price here? Call option price is simply the spot price, which uh, is the spot exchange rate. Into e to the power minus R B into T. Now, what is this R B? This R B is nothing but your base currency interest rate. All right, this R B is nothing but your base currency interest rate. Uh, here, wherever you have used the dividend yield, that is where you use the base currency. All right, wherever you use the dividend yield, that is where you use the base currency, and you are sorted. And wherever you have used the interest rate on price currency, that is where you use the risk free rate. All right, wherever you have used the risk free rate here. Here you use the here you use the base currency, uh, sorry price currency interest rate. All right. So two changes that you need to make here for the dividend yield you need you need to have the base currency interest rate, and for the risk free rate what you need to have you need to have the price currency interest rate. All right. So that is how it works out. Uh, in the very same way for the put option as well you can work out in the exact same way. So x into n d uh, x into n uh, minus d two. And here we have e to the power minus R P into T. So what is R P here? R P is again uh, your price currency interest rate, and price currency interest rate is nothing but your risk free rate here. And likewise, you have uh, with the spot rate or with the spot exchange rate, you have the R B T R B. That is the base uh, currency interest rate, and that base currency interest rate here is uh, is is for dividend yield that we have been using. All right, so that is something that we need to understand, and that is how exactly things work around. All right, so not very difficult. Uh, if you have done economics, you would be able to understand this really well. If you haven't, uh, when you do the economics part of it, and th uh, then you can come back to this bit and you can understand because it is a repetitive thing which you need to you know simply understand there and then reflect it here because you get to know understand currency a lot deeper there, and this is just a bit of it. All right, so it's better that you understand the ocean than you. Come back and you know uh, study the sea. All right, so that is how exactly things work. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, enjoying these classes, and at the very same time, make sure that you know this last two videos were a little tricky because they were on the tougher side. So in case if you have any doubt, please uh, feel free to reach out to me, and we can discuss the same. Thank you.